Welcome back to What Are You Noobs for General Disturbance. This is the 105 FH 18B2, the French Tier 5 Premium SPG, one of only two Premium SPGs in the game. Get that when there's so many hundreds of other Premiums. Uh, but this one is located on the north spawn of Serene Coast under the command of APA 561 of Olymp. Well, there's a lot of players in Olymp now. A lot of top party players as well. And you only have to see that from the uh, number of Olymp gaffles that are actually appearing on our channel. In fact, there is a playlist for all of the players who've actually sent in replays of their games. Well, APA has sent in a game which was recent actually, because this is actually, I think if I remember correctly, it's dated today. And he sent it in from last night because uh, he's only just changed the new client. Okay, the 105 Lef H 18B2. They only made 16 of them, but those 16 were actually owned by the Germans. They were made from French tanks that were captured and turned into artillery pieces. In fact, they turned more of these tanks into uh, other tanks for use on their conquests. And uh, some were even made into flamethrower tanks as well, would you believe it? Okay. He's looking around for a decent target to fire at. Somebody's suggested this T-3485 over here. It's a tier 6 game with tier 5 tanks in it. And he just got a direct hit on the KV-2. Okay, he's reloaded. Rounds out straight away. Oh, now that's interesting. But it did hit the rock face. So that's why we didn't get a, an impact. That was a heat round. Now, he's reloaded, but I think he's reloaded with another heat round. Trying to get this AMD? No. Trying to get him. He keeps changing direction. I know he's trying to run away. Okay, he's decided not to shoot that one, but he might shoot this guy. Oh, he hit the ground. That is very unfortunate because that's a waste of a round. But um, it can happen sometimes. Oh, we penetrated that one, though, and that was a peak round going straight through the side of a T-21, which is very thin armor. Now he's reloading, and it's another heat round, but he's looking at these guys over here. T-3485, a G-2, and an AEC, and he's trying to line a shot up, but these buildings are getting in the way at the moment. Okay, he's found one. He's found the AEC. He's decided... Oh, no, changes his mind. Doesn't shoot... A lot of hesitancy going in here. Yeah, he keeps making his changing his mind. You can see he's got a red line there, so if he did fire, he'd hit the ground anyway. But look at this. T3485 comes in, and he penetrates, or oh, rather he hits, but it says armor not hit. So he hasn't done any damage, but he's ready to shoot. He fires another one in. This time he definitely hit it. Oh my god, he just blew up. He just blew up. And it was the Hellcat who got the kill. And now he's got the Cheetu! Two explosive detonations of the enemy tanks. First the T-3485, then the Cheetu. And he's doing it at all at very close range to the enemy. Another hit, but this time around it wasn't him who got the hit. But he's dialing in on a T-3485 fires. And another one blows up! 810 hit points! Amarat detonated and his turret was sent skyward. Well, it wasn't actually, but you know what I mean. It's it's another turret tosser. Oh my gum. What is he doing? I think he's he's got it in his mind that he wants to hit and take out enemy tanks by detonating them. And oh, I've never seen somebody get so aggressive, other than myself, maybe. <laughs> Uh, you get so angry with the enemy, you say, I'm going to go out there and get them myself if I have to. And and you just take it on the enemy. Yes, there is a battle that, I, that happened to me. I just got, my anger got the better of me. And I decided instead to run at the enemy and blast them away. Okay, he's got some new targets. He's got a Churchill 3. He's dialing in. He's using the standard HE now. Rounds out. And he just penetrated the rear of the Churchill 3. And I just heard another detonation from another enemy tank. 
And he's just blown up as well. The Churchill 3's gone. And that shell appeared to land right next door to it. Now we've got a KB2. Rounds out. Another direct hit tracks him. He goes. The enemy are just falling apart. Shells are just exploding and tanks are going up. It's almost like surreal that you just see them firing at one tank and all of a sudden all their hit points are gone and they just detonated okay let's see if we can do this to the bdr g1b just the other side of that bank he's on the move oh he was tempted to fire there and he he was spoofed into top firing but that bdr is very unhappy and uncertain about what it should have happened next and he's retreating if he's not careful, he'll go over the edge. And now he's blown up. There's only one enemy left. And that happens to be a Hellcat. And he's at the north end of the peninsula. And so, uh, yes, we're turning in that general direction because we're waiting to spot that Hellcat as soon as he comes into sight so we can shoot at him. He can't have got too far because the KV-2 is at the end of the bridge. And our tanks are approaching from behind the Hellcat. So he's got to be around there somewhere. Where are you hiding? Unless he managed to sneak past the KV-2, in which case he might be coming for us. And it does look like he has. Now we might need to move. <laughs> we could be expecting an early arrival of the Hellcat with a hot barrel. Well, we're going to make our moves southward through the uh, the dip. Ideally, we need to uh, get to the other side of the railway line, not stick around here. Just in case, well, he's decided to go for cover. He's now hiding in the bush, just in case. We are capping, so the Hellcat does have to return to its uh, own cap area. If he doesn't, the Excalibur will get an invader medal. We've got our rear end hanging out the back there at the moment, but uh, no, I think he's decided he's safe for the moment. Okay, I think you can see his logic in uh, hiding in a bush, uh, waiting for the enemy to come to him with his back against the wall. If the enemy does turn up, then he'll be able to shoot at him straight away. But he has seemed to have disappeared so far. I think there's a possibility he's still on the peninsula. But he hid so well that nobody saw him. Has anybody checked the spotting bush? Well, he's not going to turn up. Which means we're going to cap out. And that's it. We've won. I don't think I've seen a battle where I've seen so many enemy tanks just detonate the way that they did in that game. That was absolutely thrilling to see those tanks turret toss. Uh, very big bangs when they did. They didn't actually toss the turrets as you're seeing in certain country at the moment. Obviously, we don't need to mention where that country is. But yes, it is kind of exciting when you see a, a turret of an enemy tank go skyward. Uh, and we did see a lot of tanks get detonated in that game. It was a first-class tanker for Apple 561 in the Fifi. He managed to get a demolition expert because he blew up one of the tanks he hit. In fact, he blew up two of them. He blew up the T-34-85, or was it the Chi-2? No, he got the Chi-2, and then he blew up the Churchill-3 afterwards, and then he blew up the T-21. So, yes, he actually took out three tanks by blowing them to pieces. He also managed to get a fighter badge for getting at least four kills, and he did get four exactly, a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he got seven. His win rate from that one, 6,522, which is super unicum and a lot more, and quite an exciting game. But it's um, sad that it was only a first-class tanker because he didn't do enough damage to actually count the, uh, uh, to get the ace tanker out of it, I'm afraid, or get enough assistance, really. Anyway, if we look at the team scores, we can see that the highest damage in the game went to the Excalibur, who also picked up 
an invader, and he got 2,254 hit points and the high caliber. The second highest damage in the game turned out to be, yep, APA 561, 2,177 hit points. And the third highest damage went to the M10 RBFM on the enemy team with 1,431. Uh, Mr. Hellcat must be the hide and seek champion uh, for the enemy. When it came to kills, we can see that two players managed to get four kills apiece. That was APA. And also the Colonel Gentleman in the Type T-34. He also got four kills and got an Oskins medal out of that one. Because, of course, he's only Tier 5 and he was up against Tier 6 tanks. So, of course, he was taking out higher tier opponents than himself. And when it came to the next highest, that was the Excalibur and the T-52. Both got two kills each. So did the KV-2 and the BDR-G1B on the enemy team. And when it came to base XP, it was the Excalibur who did the best with 1,259, followed by Apple 561 with 1,026 base. And they were the only two players who managed to get over 1,000 base in the game, with the third one being the Type T-34 who got 992. He fired 15 rounds, only 15 rounds, but a lot of those rounds were premium rounds, heat rounds, but boy, were they effective. He got eight direct hits and four penetration shots and three splash. Damage of 2,177 hit points, of which 1,495 were at more than 300 meters. So you can see a lot of those shots were close range ones, like the one on the Chi 2. That was close range. It was close range. And also the shots he made to try and take out the other enemy. He damaged six of the enemy, killed four, did 419 hit points of damage assistance. On a premium count, he actually made loss of 2,409 credits. That's down to this premium ammo, 32,896 credits for the ammo that he fired. But you, I think you would agree, some of those shells were very, very effective because they did penetrate the enemy. They either tracked them or they actually just went straight through them and blew them up. In fact, the Cheetu did blow up because it got Amaract. And he did... 2,155 experience points altogether. So a marvellous game there with big booms, as he says. It really was. I haven't seen one of those for a while, but it's very good fun when you actually do detonate a lot of the enemy and just they explode all over the place. I hope you enjoyed that replay. I know it's a brief one, but it was a fun one. Uh, if you did, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.